There are already some really strange and kind of scary AIs out there. Like I've, I've heard of a website where you can kind of uh, paste two paragraphs, that com two completely random paragraphs somebody's written, and the AI just um, figures out the probability that those two paragraphs are written by the same person. It's pretty creepy. Really? Just kind of, yeah, or wow. or even the GPT three stuff, the image completion stuff, all of the all of the papers. And I'm I actually thought that, that stuff would never arrive in consumer sof software, but I guess uh, Photoshop recently added a feature where you can where you have a slider for when you when you're editing a photo, you can just uh, change the smile slider, and suddenly the person on the photo goes, "What? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy." <laughs> like. It's, you're part of the problem, Jonas. You're making a game where AI tries yeah, to kill yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I find AI fascinating. That's why I'm making a game about it. Yeah, you're just please put some limitations on your AI, right? <laughs> I don't want you to like start following me around on Facebook uh, and stuff. Don't, like, don't let it out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I like about your game is that it's it's a really cool concept. It's a really novel idea, but also it's got it's got that cultural like significance right now, right? Because this is something that a lot of people are worried about, right? A lot of people are thinking, and, and maybe they're not directly worried about AI, but a lot of people are starting to become aware mm. of the thing that's being done with their data. And AI, like you said, is the thing that's going to just blow this out of proportion. It's just going to make it stupid, right? Like, it's, have you ever seen Minority Report? Yeah, I've probably seen it, uh, but it's it must like, have been a long, long time ago, yeah. But you remember the premise, right? It's about the the movie where they like arrest people before they do a crime. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that yeah. Movie, yeah. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, how long until that happens? They can pro the problem. Okay, this person who has a crime history is walking into this place where the crime rate is seventeen percent <laughs> or whatever, and it's like, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, I mean, uh oh, so dispatch a unit there because. <laughs> not not that unrealistic. Not that and unrealistic. That's terrifying. At all. That's can you imagine being arrested for a crime you were about to commit? <laughs> <laughs> like Amazon does the same thing. Like Amazon knows probabilities that certain customers are buying a certain thing and they're already shipping it to the correct warehouse so it's available when you buy it. I did not know that. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it makes I mean, sense. I, I, have no, I have no clue how well it works, but you know, it's we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I was reading a thing yeah. where they like, um, parent, uh, somebody found out they were pregnant because they got ads for... Uh, pregnancy stuff because the data that this company was collecting on all their different social profiles, even though it had nothing to do with that, was like was consolidated into a point where a probability was calculated that that person was pregnant, and then it em emailed them ads and stuff mm. for that. Like that's crazy that like these systems know based on these just different data points that we have, Google search history, like. Even uh, Facebook even keeps track of like as you're scrolling. A lot of people don't know this, but they keep track of like where you pause. So even if you don't interact on something, if you just pause in your feed and you keep going, they yeah. they store that too. Yeah, it's like that's an insane amount of data. Like what you're looking at, what you're listening to. There's several times I've done a test where um, I've said words and then we get ads for the words, and I, it's got to be in the phone or it's got to be in something. Like it's like. <laughs> I, I I don't understand how, but it's crazy. Mm. Yeah, sometimes there are these uh, weird mental biases as well that kind of can lead you to wrong conclusions. But uh, I agree. It's, it's I've tried creepy. specifically where um, Alyssa and I we did a test because mm -hmm. we we're making jokes about it, mm -hmm. and we said uh, dog, 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 dog chewy.com a bunch of like dog related <laughs> stuff we just said the words okay. that's all we did we started getting ads for that stuff we didn't type it in anywhere we didn't I, i'm i swear to god no email because even like if you type something on google keyboard i'm thinking okay google owns android android runs the keyboard they could technically mm -hmm. take the data right mm -hmm. we didn't type it anywhere we didn't text it to each other we didn't do nothing all we did was said the words so it's got to be the phone like listening or something and I even tried to Google this and I couldn't find anything about it, but I, I literally watched it happen. So that kind of freaked me out. That's strange. That's strange. I mean, sometimes these algorithms just do weird things. Uh, I, for some reason, I think uh, YouTube thinks that I have a cat because it just keeps showing me ads <laughs> for cat food. And I'm so annoyed by it. <laughs> I guess it's better than something. Maybe some you other want girlfriend. a cat. 
and you just don't know it yet. Yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe they're the trying AI to AI just decided you need a cat. <laughs> yeah, that is actually another an entirely different creepy thing uh, that you can obviously influence people by deciding which ads to show them and stuff like that. So, yeah, maybe YouTube wants me to get an ad, wants me to get a cat. Could be. Well, it could sell you more stuff if you had a cat. That's <laughs> so, dude, like, you should have yeah. a cat because then we could sell you cat twice. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 